everybody, I'm in Cologne today with my family and we're going to the Cologne Deutsch Messe. Let's get to it. I love this. I love being in Cologne. I love seeing the sights. I mean, just like anywhere in Germany you go, all you see is the history. So right now we're in the Cologne Messe Deutsch side. We're about to walk across the river and just on the other side, you see all of what's beautiful at home. The dome, the beautiful row houses. You see it all. I'm going to show you a view in a second. Hello, everyone. This is Justin. And uh, as I was going through a lot of my videos, I decided to make a, a video about my experience at the Cologne Mesa Deutz of Caramon So Fair. And my family and I, we got to enjoy We got to enjoy the rides. Um, and take it in. Uh, what I love about Germany and anywhere, any major city in the, around the world, there's always something to do. And where I'm located, there's always something going on. I'm in between two cities. I'm in between Cologne and Dusseldorf. And so there's always something going on. And so whenever they have a cameras or any type of event, we try to take part into it. We try to really enjoy. It's one thing that I wish I would have done more in America was support the local events. Um, I always felt like I had to go to a big place to really enjoy it, but now I see the importance of celebrating and and really taking in the all of these small small local events. Now this wasn't a small one; this was actually really big. And as you can see, as I'm walking through, there's so many rides, there's so many games, there's so many activities, and there's different types of food, and you can really get the smell in. Um, but I wish I would have done more of that in America, of really taking in all of these events. And I know the more I participate, the more they can grow and the more people to join in to these smaller, very, very small local events can grow to be something bigger instead of always shrinking because the capacity is getting smaller. Um, so I really like this. This fair was amazing. It was huge, as big as a state fair in America, but there's one really big difference. And I kind of try to explain it a little bit. So a state fair in America is not just about the rise in the game. There's other events that go along with it. And I think in America, and I think, I think oh, every state, you will have a uh, many different contests. You'll have like the, the best pie contest or the, the best pet pie contest. And you have animal judging contests. And it's really, really cool. There's so many things that go along with that. Um, in Germany, they don't really do that. It's more about just the events. They might tie some other things to it, uh, like maybe the city fest, the folk fest. But I have yet to see like the best apple pie or the largest pumpkin or the largest this, any contest like that. So that's one big difference. Another difference is that when it comes to food, we really go crazy in America. You will have a, a foot long corn dog. You will have maybe uh, a cheeseburger that's been double fried or a fried Oreo or fried uh, donut. I mean, just anything that you can take, dip it in fried ice cream, fried Coke balls. Um, they really go crazy and they always try to come up with something new. I'm noticing at a lot of German festivals, uh, they stick to traditional stuff. <laughs> And I understand why. I think in America, we look forward to all that craziness or what they're going to come out with next. Whereas in Germany, the majority of people will buy stuff that they already know. Like the longest line at many of these festivals are the Bratwurst lines. And the longest line of getting beer is going to be the local beer in that area. Uh, we have a beer festival. I made a video about that. Uh, already please check it out and uh it seemed like the most beer was sold was the local kirch the local cologne beer from our area and instead of they had thousands of beer from around the world many different types of beer on tap so i know you can say well i don't like the bald i prefer it on tap i don't know i don't drink but um i understand that when it's freshly from the tap is it tastes different from being transported in a glass bottle i get that but I have seen where they would have beer from maybe the Netherlands or they would have beer from other surrounding European countries from the tap. 
yet people still drink the local coach uh, church and um now the plus side of that is normally the prices for the broth breasts are still pretty cheap whereas in america these different crazy foods are very expensive um but on both sides the rides are very expensive but at the end of the day it was a nice experience a nice family trip you're gonna see one activity that i did when i was little my children doing now is that picking up the ducks <laughs> That's something kids guaranteed to win a prize. Um, it's an easy game and we enjoy it so. Use these, pick up the ducks, go ahead, get 20 of them. All right, Sergeant, pick it up. Like this. Good job, Sasha. Good job, Justin. Oh. Good job. Big in Swanson. Swanson. Good job. Please, if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe to this video. Thanks. See you.